All right, uh, we finished the unit, we painted, and if, if you can see over there, it's uh, made in two parts. The splitter, you know, the cylinder with a splitter head and uh, the rail, it's attached on the I-beam, and it stores really easy vertical. Doesn't use too much room in the garage. And the hydraulic system, it's on wheels here. I get it in a, doll, in a flat dolly. And the key is to have, to have it separated, and, you know, and have a decent sized holes so you can connect the hydraulic system into the lock splitter or into a crane if you built a crane for your truck or your garage or with uh, hydraulic um, cylinders or uh, for a bucket, you know, a dumping bucket in the truck to haul materials and dump them. Anyway, um, I got quick connectors at the end so I can switch, you know, from uh, different applications. Now we're going to pick up all the logs and everything that we have stored for years before we had the splitter, you know, we had to split by hand, so Sometimes it's not nice and we never split them, they're laying down all around the house, so here we are. We got a good, decent pile there. And uh, now we're going to start the engine and adjust the choke. To get it ready, let it warm for a little bit, you know. And start splitting. You can see that uh, I have on the hydraulic system the oil tank, put a filter on the return line, get the valve, the check uh, valve, detent, I'm sorry, it's a detent valve, and um, uh, the uh, four horsepower motor that uh, years ago I just uh, rebuilt the carburetor and it's running dead smooth. I also put a manometer over there just to check the pressure and see if it doesn't exceed anything like that. Just for safety. Here's the head, uh, you can see it in this uh, first shot. It just busts and splits the lock like uh, nothing, you know, the, there's a big angle to it. It will penetrate on the green immediately as soon as it touches and then it will separate and split them apart. That works pretty good, actually. I also put some uh, Teflon bar on the sides where it, uh, so it can minimize the friction you know, on the sliding. Uh, uh, you can see the manometer, you know, putting some uh, heavy grain. You know, usually you use a lot of pressure when you find a log that has the grain all curled and you know, all, and it's just like birds I would. That's it, here we are.